Patriots, towering tight end. He's going to be a busy man in the passing game. It's the Pats and the Texans, and it's coming up next on EA Sports. What better way to start off the afternoon than with some football, huh? It's time to get things started here on the NFL on EA Sports. Joined by a former NFL quarterback, up in the booth, Mr. Brock Heward. I'm Kate Scott. And Brock, uh, you can grab if you'd like to, because I know you have quite the big arm in your days with the Huskies and the Seahawks in Seattle. We've got a couple quarterbacks here who also now have first half football down the field. Yeah, you got a couple QBs who are going to keep these defenses honest today because the moment they get greedy in coverage or get too aggressive in the pocket, either of these quarterbacks can drop a dime, drop a deep throw right over them for big yardage, or maybe six points too. The holidays have arrived. Thank you for spending a part of them with us. We're away in week 16 on EA Sports. Good looking return here, and he's got room. Well, here come the Texans for their opening drive. And leading them out is the second overall pick back in the 2023 draft from the Ohio State. It's CJ Stroud. It's a QB in this league. If you're going to finish a game with no touchdowns on that side of the stat sheet, well, you better finish it with no interceptions as well. Even if last week was an uneventful contest for him throwing the football, he did what he needed to do to help them come away with the most important stat, the win. One play in, and this drive is already in the enemy territory. Throwing his crowd. Got a man over the middle. Complete. And that tackle stops him after a solid game. Now a moment to check out his numbers catching that football last week. Halfway to the marker, it's second and five. Takes the handoff, now to throw. He finds the open man there, complete. And he stopped just before he reaches the red zone at the 21. A big play, 23 yards to move those chains. You know what I like about that, Kate? I like that they're not coming out slow. They're willing to go with some looks here that will yield big yardage down the field instead of just settling for dinking and dunking the ball. They have themselves another first and ten. Here's Brown now. He had it for a moment, but a great defensive play to jar it loose, incomplete. No dice on that prior pass. Here's second down. They are throwing it again. He's got it, room to run. And they get this down to the seven-yard line. 14 yards on a nice play there, and it gives them first and goal. From a great throw to a nice route and catch to moving the chains. There wasn't a whole lot not to like about that amazing play. First down from the red zone. And he will go down. The Patriots make the play. And that sack going to cost them some yardage. And look at that. All that effort and success from the previous play, it is gone. Credit to this defense who snapped and clear. That's part of this game. You've got to snap and clear. Give up a big play, come back and make a big one for yourself. And they do get home outside. And he just got it away before the hit, but the pass winds up incomplete. It's going to be third down. Now it's Brown. And he rips this one out and over the back of the end zone. Incomplete. Could make that connection. And that forces them to fourth and goal. Will Watts on to attempt the field goal. The upright's 31 yards away, dead ahead. And it is good. No problems there on the shorter attempt. And the opening drive of the game ends in three points. I never saw a play script that ended with a field goal. It was always a touchdown that you wanted. But that's three points, and it's enough to give them the lead. His return starts at the five. And he's brought down. The offense will come onto the field. So out come the Patriots, ready for their first possession. 
And we'll get a chance to see someone still in the early stages of their career, this third year QB. Just an all around great performance from him last week, K to the win. Those two touchdowns he had played a big part in the victory, no question. But so did keeping it clean, not throwing a pick. You want to become friendly with your own defense? Make sure they don't have any extra possessions to defend. He did his job, and so did his teammates. And this one's brought to a halt at about the 36-yard line. Nice spot here for the offense. It's second and one. From the 36. He finds his running back. Nice work complete. And he'll pick up enough to move the chains. He was too far downfield at the time of the pass. Got to stay within a yard of the line. That'll back him up. Still second down. Offense to the line for second down. Running it after the penalty. He's out there midfield and still going. And they'll finally get him at the 47-yard line. 16 yards on the play. And that's a New England first down. First and 10 at the 47-yard line. Back-to-back -back carries here. And he's held up short of midfield after a small game. Only two yards, and it brings up second and eight. Dropping back to throw. He completes it in traffic. And he'll get this through midfield and starts pushing into Texans territory. Chance to move the chains here on third and four. Back now, pressure on its way. Complete beyond the marker. And he's brought down after pushing to that 35-yard line. Give him 11 yards, Brock, and a fresh set of downs. You're not going to last long in the National Football League if you don't convert a good chunk of your third downs. Nice find there to continue the series. They just keep working it forward early. We've got first and 10 now from the 35. Out of the gun, they'll look to throw. Defender arrives right as the ball does, and the hit knocks it free. Incomplete. Couldn't connect on first. It's second down. Throwing it again here. Connection on the slant. And he gets down to the 24 before he stopped. That's an 11-yard pickup, and it gives them the first down. Still sticking with the passing game. And he won't escape this. The Texans take him down. And the big play drives them backwards. Second down coming up. All right, first sack on the board on the first drive as a defense. And now, well, now we let the chess match begin. The adjustments begin because we know pressure leads to sacks. And sacks in this league often leads to wins. The give here on second. And the defense gets there to force a small loss. This offense may want to try and disguise their run a little bit. I don't know if it's the old lineman's stance. I don't know if it's a cadence. I don't know what it is, but after two straight plays going backwards, this defense is all over. Got a man open. Complete. And he scores. It's a New England touchdown. The Patriots finish off their opening drive. So the back does the work that time, Brock, taking it in for the touchdown. Yeah, a running back in space can be an awfully dangerous weapon on a football field. Whether that's a designed route to him, a check down, you see what can happen, what kind of damage the elite running backs in this league can do. Now Jake Elliott on to attempt the extra point. That one right down the middle. And they'll continue adding to their lead. The Patriots kick team out there as they send it away. Here's a return from the seven. And this drive will start inside the 25. They're out and set, first and 10. Back on the 
handoff. And he's able to manage a couple on that run. We've hit the end of one in this showdown between two of the league's best. 7-3 is our score. More of the NFL on EA Sports right after this. Welcome back. We'll begin the second quarter with the Texans in possession. They'll begin the quarter with second and eight. Looking to throw, Stroud. To left sideline, complete. And he has it up towards midfield before he's taken down at the 47. They get 22 on that one. And the Texans are going to have a first down. That's just great instincts. Go air it out on second down rather than just play conservative and run it. They hit a weak point in the coverage and don't need to worry about third down at all. Shroud. Ooh, he got hit as he was throwing it. Unsurprisingly, he falls incomplete. Second down coming up. Gun. They'll give it to him inside. And he has it to the 42 before they make the stop. They get an even 10 on that play. And it sets up a Houston first. Back to throw, Stroud. He keeps those feet in and makes the catch. Every once in a while, it's fine to be conservative on first down, especially when you get enough to stay on schedule and get a little something coming out of it, too. From the 40 on second down. They dump it off to the back. And the defense is all over this one for a big loss. Now, after that play, we have somebody banged up down there. Injuries never welcome sight so close to the end of the season. They're out to attend to it. Third and ten. Can this offense get it done? Here's Stroud. <laughs> Tried to connect, but it winds up incomplete. Well, okay, Kate, that wasn't a fast enough break for the interception, but it was good enough and a good enough break to break on the ball, get a finger on it, and force the incompletion. Punt team is on now, and they get this away. And this one adventures out of play on the fly. The question is where it's marked. Looks like they'll say the 17-yard line. The Patriots and their quarterback ready to take over once again. And he's up over 4,000 yards on the season, which you can see puts him atop the NFL in that area. They go play action on first. Oh, it puts some heat on this deep ball. Left side. So sensational work about a skill man there, Brock. Anytime you can make your quarterback look that good, you know he appreciates it. <laughs> That's a quarterback's best friend, no question. <laughs> but on the other side, gosh, defensively, you got to get that, that skill player down. Period. Yeah. End of story. You can't give up that much yards after catch. Elliott on now to attempt the point after. That one splits the uprights, and they'll continue adding to their lead. The Patriots kick team out there as they send it away. Here's a return from the seven. And he's brought down. The offense will come onto the field. ready to begin this drive first and ten to the air Stroud hits his man on the out route and they're gonna bring him down just beyond the 30 at the 31 halfway to the marker it's second and five from the 31 tight end reels in the shallow throw and he'll get it out to the 34 before he's tracked down. Third, just two to go. Three, 
throwing his ground. Nice work by the back here. Playing safety valve complete. And he's brought down at the line. Those kind of completions are so frustrating, Kate. <laughs> it's like a putt. You got it on line, you feel good about it, it's going in the hole, but you never want to leave it short. Another putt coming up. Bryce Barringer to do the honors again. And they bring him down to put a stop to that return. The Patriots headed back out on offense. Their quarterback returning to the field now. And no one has been better than him at finding the end zone through the air all year. He's leading this league in passing touchdowns late in our season. Play action on first down. Couldn't connect across the middle. It's an incomplete pass. Looking for the back that time. So it'll be second down. Throwing from the gun here. Here's a throw on the out route, complete. They get 13 on the pickup. And the Patriots will have a first down. First and 10 at the 31 yard line. Pass play now. No hesitation, and that one's caught. And this one's brought to a halt at about the 36 yard line. Halfway to the marker, it's second and five. And five at the 36 yard line. Out of the shotgun, they'll give it to him inside. And he's brought down after a nice game and a first down. Ooh, I like that. I really like that execution to move the chains. Now that third down call that they had ready, well, they could stick it right back in their pocket for a later occasion. Pass play on first and 10. Short pass caught by his tight end. And this one doesn't go far. They'll come to the line here, second and nine. Blown back in the backfield, and he gets the handoff. Stopped on the play by the rookie from Tennessee. You make that call to just give yourself a fighting chance on third down, Kate. Take at least a little bite of the big meal between them and the first down marker. And that, that should make this upcoming call a little less daunting. From the gun on third down. That one is incomplete. Couldn't hang on through the contact. It arrived as the ball did to break things up. And that leaves them with fourth and five. The Patriots have their punting unit out. He was only needed twice in last week's win, and he gets this one away. And the punter earning some high fives on that one. They're going to down this kick at the three. The Texans and this running back headed back out for a new series. And with the end of the season in sight, he's looking for a strong finish to capture that NFL rushing crowd. On first down, they'll run. And he has enough room to gain about four. Well, I'll steal a line from one of my buddies, but I'm going to quote him. Mark Schlereth, two-time Super Bowl winner, says if you want to run the ball, you've got to keep running the ball. And that's a perfect example of it. Don't get tired. Don't get mad at gaining four yards. It's a run that can set up even more in the run game. Timeout taken by the Patriots. They're first to three. They'll throw on third and long. He's on the move. They'll make a big for it on the ground. And they bring him down up at the 12-yard line. Now we're going to have a timeout by New England. It's second. They'll get together and discuss with fourth down coming up. On is the punt team, and away goes the punt. And they bring him down to put a stop to that return. That punt goes 63 yards. And that is where they'll start the next drive. Good field position for the Patriots as they get set for first and 10. They'll throw to begin this drive. Short pass caught by his tight end. And he'll be brought down a step or two shy in midfield. They're going to mark him at the 48. He's just one of those guys, Kate. Even when he's not open, he's still a target thanks to that physicality and his ability to just play bully ball. 
They don't like forcing into the coverage, but sometimes when you've got a bowler like him that can create space, just find a way to get him the ball. Well, that was almost one of those nice chunk plays you like to see in the NFL, Kate, before he was able to recover and provide the hit and ultimately dislodge the football. You like to see that physical edge and scrappiness contest any kind of shot plays down the field. And he stopped just before he reaches the red zone at the 21. That one goes for 31 yards and a first down when all is said and done. You know by now, Kate, what I call that. That's that car wash ball. Just come to life. That's when you throw that ball right through that car wash and you throw it with such velo, it doesn't get wet. And to do it with that kind of accuracy down the field, this dude's elite. Throwing now from the gun. Rifles it and it's caught. And he's able to get this down to the 13. After a good pickup, they're set up with second and short. He'll throw it yet again. It's caught. And they'll get this down nearly to the end zone. Instead, stuffed at the two. This offense in position now. It's first and goal. They pitch it out to him here. And he's caught behind the line for a loss. Now the Patriots calling their third and final timeout. And that's all they've got for what little remains of this half. Second chance at six here. It's second and goal. Shotgun snap looking to throw. And he scores. It's a New England touchdown. The Patriots get more points to end the lopsided first half. Well, this machine has been firing on all cylinders this game, partner. And it continues firing as that lead grows yet again. And those who've tried to get in the way of that machine you're talking about, namely the defense, well, they've paid the price over and over and over again. That one right down the middle. And they'll continue adding to their lead. Well, Brock Martin, a touchback. This kickoff should run out the half, so better make that return good as it's away. Return starts from the goal line. And they take him down at the 24-yard line. So we're at halftime of a lopsided contest thus far. One team with a whole lot of adjustments to make during the break. Now from here, let's jump across town to our studios for the EA Sports Halftime Report with Jonathan Coachman. All right, Kate, we'll get back to you and Brock in a bit. For now, plenty of early action in the 1 o'clock Eastern window to get you caught up on. So let's get to it. We'll start up at MetLife Stadium in New Jersey. And it is the Jets who have the lead late in the second quarter. Nick Boyle throwing the football well. He has three touchdown passes. From there, we head down the turnpike to see what's happening with the Eagles at home in Philadelphia. And right now, they have the lead over the visiting New York Giants. The Eagles seem to be on their way to what would be a good victory. Finally, let's get to Indianapolis to check on the Colts at home at Lucas Oil Stadium. As you can see, the score there in the second quarter. The Bills trying to hold on and claim victory. This was an extremely one-sided first half. One team showed up, ready to go. The other's been in a Here's daze one. thus Set far, but there's still plenty of time left for this one to tighten up significantly. This one's fielded at the four-yard line. And a decent return ends as they bring him down inside the 30. The Patriots are being led back out there on offense by their quarterback. And he has to be happy about his game. We're checking some of the highlights right now that he's made so far. A good showing that's seen him in the zone from time to time. And also, he's just seen the field well from his spot in the middle of this offense. And the drive will start out with a first and ten. They'll come out throwing. Quick hitter complete. And he's up to the 35-yard line as they reel him in. That is the epitome of staying on schedule. That kind of completion right there on first down. Well, it opens up the entirety of the playbook for second down. Third and short in your back pocket. You can get even more aggressive and take that shot. And he's tackled with the first down yardage. 
Only slated downs to approach here from the 40. Back to the well again. And he's going to get this up to the 45 before he's brought down. Give him five on that carry, bringing up second and five. It's a game of five. Brings up second and five. They'll throw it. Rifles it, and it's on the money on the slant. And they get this down to the 44 before he stopped. A new set of downs forthcoming. It's first and ten. First and ten. Here's a throw. An alert play defensively there. He got a hand on it to tip it away. That makes it second down. Looking to the air here. This one's hauled in on the left side. It's third and eight. Need to get a chunk here. Receiver caught. And he scores. It's a New England touchdown. The Patriots grow the lead coming out of halftime. Well, we've certainly gotten used to calling his touchdowns all season, haven't we? There have been a lot of them, Brock. And that last one makes it official. Pop that coke, baby. The receiving record for touchdowns in a season. And the level of opposition he's overcome, especially as he neared this record, the whole world watching every team, doing all they can, committing extra resources to stop him. Well, they can't do it. And all he did was score, 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 score. That one splits the uprights. And they'll continue adding to their lead. The Patriots kick team out there as they send it away. Return coming from the six. And he's brought down. The offense will come onto the field. And Brock, we've got a pretty good idea how a lot of the playoff picture is going to shake out, but still some time left for things to change near the end of the season. They'll get this drive started. First and ten. Hand off now from the gun. And not a lot of room for him as he's brought down. Just a gain of one, and that brings up second and nine. Now it's Stroud. And the Patriots get home. They dropped him. And that pushes him back. Third down coming up. This is one of those situations where QB strength and ability to run can be a great blessing, but can also be a curse. We've seen him use his feet before. This guy can escape, and that's a blessing. But it can be a curse because sometimes you think you can get out of everything. And this defense just proved he couldn't. So not an enviable spot here as they come up on third and very long. Shroud. Underneath it goes. Catch made by the running back. And he'll have it up to about the 23-yard line on the play. I'm a big fan of the screen pass. Really, you can run a screen as they just showed on any play. First, second, third down. Sometimes even fourth. But it takes great acumen, a great football IQ defensively to have an awareness it's coming, and then more importantly, to stop it. And they bring him down to put a stop to that return. So no return on that punt. And they'll begin this possession in just a moment. Here's first and ten from the 34. Airing it out to start this drive. Pass is hauled in by the running back. And this one does not go far. They'll come to the line here, second and nine. At the 36-yard line. Fakes the handoff, now to throw. They left him wide open. It's complete. Fights off a tackle, but he lost the ball. He left the ball behind. And this is going to stay with the offense as he makes the recovery. They get 20 yards out of the play and move the chains. 
Ooh, so close to a big play defensively there, Brock. But now these guys got to stay out there. They were unable to bring in the fumble. They just forced. They do. Got to bring a little bit of juice. But kind of like a boxer, when they get a guy cut, they know. Man, if I get that first cut, I can make them bleed. And you get that ball out the first time, I guarantee you, I promise you, those guys are thinking they'll get it the next. They'll run here on first down. And he powers through the middle for a gain of four. And now we'll get a pause here. Trainers headed out to take a look at an injured player. Let's hope it isn't anything that's going to keep him from finishing this season strong. Second and six coming up here. They give it to him again. And they make the stop. We're going to say it about the 37-yard line. It's a pickup of three. They're going to need three more now on third down. Off the play fake, he's going to throw. He has the first over the middle. And his play reaches the 12-yard line before the stop is made. That goes as a gain of 25 yards and picks up the first. This entire play, Kate, depends on how well he can separate from his man. You get man-to-man -man coverage, it's really about two things, separation and trust. Because QBs want to throw it before he breaks, that's the trust, and then they got to believe that that separation could create the big play down the field. Here's a toss running left. And he's to the five before going out of bounds. Good run, gets him seven. That brings up second and three. Pass play coming here. And he scores. It's a New England touchdown. The Patriots lengthen the lead at the end of the third. Well, Bronk, you know this better than most. Sometimes these dudes can be a quarterback's best friend, finding the tight end in the end zone for six. And it really has been that way for decades when you think about it, Kate, from John Mackey to Tony Gonzalez to Travis Kelsey. The position could be such a mismatch when you're throwing for the end zone. Elliott on now to attempt the point after. That one right down the middle. And they'll continue adding to their lead. The Patriots kick team out there as they send it away. This one's fielded at the 40-yard line. And he gets across the 30 before he's brought down. The Houston offense out and ready to set up shop. They were only on the field for three plays their prior series, Brock. Let's see what changes they make to take over here. It's a new set of downs for him at the 32. Here's Stroud. Throw right side, and that one's hauled in. And he's going to be brought down after reaching the 43. That's going to pick up the first down after a gain of 26. One play in, and this drive is already in the enemy territory. He had it for a moment, but a complete defensive play to jar it loose, incomplete. Nico Collins, the intended target. So it's second down coming up. Here's Brown now. He throws a bullet deep to the right side. He's got it inside the 10. on this holiday weekend. It's the Texans with the football and a chance to do a little window dressing here in the fourth. They'll break the huddle and come up on first and goal. They'll try and punch it in. And he's going to fight forward and get in. Touchdown! He would not be denied that close to the end zone, Brock. I think it might have taken five or six guys tackling him to keep him from diving across the line for six. Certainly a second effort touchdown, no question. The backs who become fan favorites, we've seen it through the generations, and they set the curve for their peers, are the ones who just fight through that stop. It will not be denied of a touchdown. That one splits the uprights. 
And they're a point closer now on the scoreboard. Here's Lutz set to kick this away. Will Lutz set to kick off. This one's fielded at the 40-yard line. Oh, he shows a burst on this return. And he manages the 35 before they can stop him. And like we've seen from him before, Brock, he got a good game going early through the air and kept the pressure up from then on. He's still taking it to him now as we work through this second half. Good field position for the Patriots as they get set for first and 10. And they're able to grind him to a halt after a pickup of four. He'll expect more from himself on those type of plays, but there is nobody that's going to complain about that one. If you can do math, four plus four plus four equals a first down. And he's got a decent gain before being brought down. Give him four yards there, and they only need one more now on third down. Another carry for him. And he's dropped just short of the marker, maybe a yard away. He was brought down at the 45 yard line. A gain of only a yard. It's fourth down. They're out now, ready to punt it. And this will be his second effort of the contest. Got 46 on his first punch, and this one's pushing a little more distance. And this one did hit at the eight, but took a big bounce and finished its journey in the end zone for a touchback. Now we get a look at this Texans offense. And all game, they have struggled to attack this deficit. Maybe they can do a little window dressing here. Drive starts out with a first and ten. Looking to throw, Stroud. No hesitation, and that one's caught. And he'll go down after pushing this up to the 29. Nice spot here for the offense. It's second and one. From the 29. Here's a quick throw, and it's caught on the slant. And he'll get taken down after advancing this to the 37. To the line we go. They're set, first and 10. To the air, Stroud. Defender arrives right as the ball does, and the hit knocks it free, incomplete. Tough one to retain through that hit. And now they face second down. They'll throw it again. Schultz with the catch. And they'll take him down at the 43-yard line. Third and four coming up now. Throwing his crowd. That's caught for the first. And he pushes this down to the 42 before going down. Give him 15 yards on the pickup there. And the Texans are going to have a first down. Trying to throw here out of the gun. Oh, the football's loose. And no turnover. It's going to stay with the offense. Almost the impact play this defense was searching for, but they could only get half the job done, partner. Fumble forced, but they couldn't recover. I'll tell you what else it forces, though. That coordinator, that play caller on the other side, now got a little bit of doubt about his ball handlers. Got to have better ball security than that. And he stopped at the 31-yard line. That play goes for eight yards, and it keeps this drive moving. They've got first down from the 31. Back to throw, Stroud. Here comes the screen. And not much doing, he stopped quickly. As an offense, you don't call a screen, Kate, expecting to gain just a few yards. You call it, expecting to break off something big and substantial. But it's up to that defense to stay ahead of it to keep it contained to something much smaller. Case in point right there. Complete, couldn't hang on through the contact. Everything in life. The timing is everything defensively. That throw was just a little bit late and gave the defense time to close, deliver a pop, and knock that ball loose. He had it for a moment. Hanging on to that one through a well-placed hit. 
Desperation time on fourth down. And it falls incomplete. They're out and set. First and ten. Drive starts with a quick throw left. Complete. And he gets back to the line, but no more. Second and ten. Need to get some positive yardage here. Now a give on the counter. And he found some running room for a nice game. taking the entire defense pilot on to stop him from getting that first down. Well done. So this is a win for the Patriots. And their trip across the pond, a fruitful one, Brock, because they claim the victory over here in London.